Welcome to Trinity Cathedral on the 20th day of May, 2021, a gorgeous summer feeling day outside. And today we visit uh, the last of our specific divisions here on the uh, new chancel organ at Trinity, the pedal division. So the pedals are pieces of wood, as you can see, played by the feet. And in general, the pedal division provides the bass sonorities of the organ, uh, akin to the cellos, the double basses, the bassoons, the trombones of the orchestra. That's kind of the role that the pedal division plays most of the time, although not all the time. The pedal division can play high pitches. It can play melodies in many different uh, pitch ranges. So it's, it's actually a very uh, versatile division, but it is first and foremost the bass of the organ, B-A-S-S, -S, bass of the organ. And uh, naturally, it's lower pitches, so that means they're bigger pipes, because the, the lower the pitch, the longer the pipe. So a lot of the stops in the pedal division, if you look at the stop knobs, you'll see the number 16 on them, and that means that the lowest pipe in that set is 16 feet long, or at least theoretically it is 16 feet long. Uh, I should say the pedal board uh, is in most uh, standard American style organs, 32 notes. So it starts at bottom C, there's a middle C here right uh, in the center, there's a top C, and then it goes on up to G. So it's sort of two, two and a half octaves, more or less, of uh, pedals. And that's the standard range, 32 notes. So there's soft sounds and medium sounds and sounds of different uh, strengths and timbres uh, in that 16-foot uh, department. And they uh, work really well with all sorts of things uh, that uh, might be added to them. So one of the first things is a, it's a 16 foot flute and the, the normal name for that on a lot of organs is bourdon, B-O-U-R-D-O-N. And uh, so that's a wooden set usually, wooden set of pipes. Uh, pedal pipes are sometimes wood, sometimes metal and in a huge variety of shapes as well. It's quite, uh, it's quite fascinating and, and it's one of the biggest components in any pipe organ is the those big 16-foot pedal pipes. So this is our 16-foot Borden that just play down the uh, scale at the bottom octave. So it's not loud in and of itself, but if I combine that with some 8-foot unison tone from the manuals, I'm going to take off the 16. Put it back on. So you can hear how it provides just a nice sort of gentle bass. So for instance, um, there's the 16 foot board providing the bass line for a hymn the way it does time after time. Um, we have also a 16-foot gems horn that's sort of a string tone stop, so it's nice because it's incisive. It's more along the lines of the cellos and the double basses. So those are metal pipes, and you can tell it's, a, it's just a different tone world compared to the Borden. Here's the Borden much more hollow and airy, you might say. And here's the metal gems horn. It's got more sort of edge to it, more center to the tone. It speaks quickly, but it doesn't have a lot of heaviness or weight to it. So it can be a really useful stop that way. Then the biggest of the 16 foot stops on this organ and on many organs is the 16 foot principal or diapason and that's the the backbone sound of the organ you may remember from earlier videos 
So these, in this case, are wooden pipes, and they're very substantial. They're installed up here uh, horizontally because we had more room lengthwise than we did um, heightwise. So here's the bottom octave of the 16-foot diapason, wood pipes. You can really feel the, the air moving, uh, you know, when, when those get going. So if I combine those with some higher pitches from uh, the manuals, the way one often does, here is... Uh, a sort of a, a family of tone. So if I do that same thing without any pedal, it's... So it adds a, a much greater foundation and base of the tone. It's just an altogether different sound world when you have the, the, those pedal 16s uh, playing. The pedal division also has uh, higher pitches, as I mentioned, and can play gorgeous melodies. Uh, there's a beautiful, on this organ, there's a beautiful four-foot flute uh, that's borrowed from the solo division. And uh, so it can soar out above uh, uh, softer sounds in the manuals like this. There's a four-foot clarinet, also borrowed from the uh, solo division, and it can be very useful for melodies in the pedal. So you can see the pedal can play higher pitches and beautiful melodies uh, in and of itself. Uh, just a word about the technique of playing the pedals. You've probably noticed I'm using both my uh, toes and my heels, and very often that tends to be the way. So you can alternate notes, heel, toe, heel, toe. Sometimes you can play rapid passages, alternating the toes of both feet. So it's a, it's a special uh, aspect of playing the organ, cultivating the ability to use your feet. Uh, so you, know, you can play basically any kind of a melody that you can play in the hands, you should also be able to play in your feet. And, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach was perhaps the, the first to uh, say that, and his music was maybe the first to really establish a high bar like that, where uh, any tune that could be played in the hands should also be played in the feet. So here's a little example of a typical um, Bach fugue, where it starts in the hands, but then finally the last voice in this case comes in in the feet. So it's... Two voices in the hands. Third 
voice. So there are three parts in the hands right now. Almost ready for the pedal to come in. Here it comes. That's typical of how the pedal might work in, uh, in a Bach fugue. So it's an absolutely equal voice to anything that's happening in the hands. You can also play chords in the pedal, which is a sort of a special thing, but you can use the, the arch of your foot to uh, do things like that. So I can play a lower note. I'm gonna skip this one in the middle and then reach the upper note with my uh, toe. So I'm using both my heel and my toe in sort of a, a bridge uh, fashion, making a bridge over that one middle note that I'm skipping. And I can add a third note below that with my left foot. If I do that, I could play melodies in the um, um, in the hands above that. So I can go. So in that case, I'm playing the accompaniment, the, the sustained quiet sonorities in my feet and playing the melodies uh, in the hands. So that's another example of uh, what the pedals can do. Uh, on many organs, this one included, the pedal has the loudest bass sounds, of course, and we have a really heroic set of um, 16 foot, the, the uh, tuba stop that you might remember from the solo division. <laughs> extends down to 16 foot in the pedal and it's really a, a wall of sound as it were. Quite, t those are great big full length 16 foot wooden pipes and they provide both volume and fundamental reed tone in great quantity. So uh, to give uh, an ending to this uh, segment. I can show you how the pedals work in a French style toccata where you have the big stops engaged and, um, and they play the melody. Uh, the one thing I've not mentioned before I do that is the 32 foot stops. And 32 foot pipes take an awful lot of room, awful lot of expense. So for that reason, on many organs, the 32-foot stops are produced uh, now digitally uh, through great big speakers and woofers. And uh, we're, we've not yet got those uh, finalized in their voicing. All the equipment is there, but the, the company that makes it is going to come and uh, get it all sounding just the way we want it in a couple of weeks. But the 32-foot reed is like this. Quite, uh, quite authentic sounding. You can really f feel the beats of the what would be the reed tongue vibrating there. They're so slow at, at 32 foot C down there that you you can almost you know sense the individual vibrations. So if we put on the, those big heroic reed sounds and play uh, uh, some brilliant figurations above it, you can have one of the most exciting textures that the pipe organ produce, uh, like, like this.
see why Mozart called the pipe organ the king of instruments when you hear something as thrilling and sort of visceral as that. It's, it's a, a really amazing uh, sound world to be a part of. So that's a little overview of some of the many things that the pedal division can do. And uh, thank you for tuning in to this uh, series of videos introducing you to the various uh, keyboards and the various tonal divisions of this organ. We'll, we'll have a few more videos as we get into the summer and uh, uh, perhaps try to give you an overview of how different types of music and different styles, different nationalities uh, work uh, on pipe organs and maybe contrast the, our Flintrop organ in the back against uh, the uh, Skinner in the front here and show you these two fabulous different sound worlds that we're so thrilled to have in this beautiful building now. So stay tuned and we'll have some more coming up. Take care in the meantime.